Please sit. You're safe now. You're safe. Safe. Safe now. Peace holder, let's go. Your Majesty, hurry back. my lord. Where's left rook? My lord, didn't see him. Did you tell her? My lord, we've been knocking on the door outside, but no one answered. My lord! My lord! Love Chancellor, why are you here? Right Chancellor would like to know your take on the replacement of both cannons. Alright. Let's see answer together. And let her hear about it. What's the smell? Alcohol. Why such a strong smell? My lord! My lord! My lord! My lord! It's my fault, my lord, my lord. My lord, I was drunk. Left rook. My lord. Tell me. What are you doing on Yanjur's bed? My lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's my fault. My lord, I'm sorry. Where's Yanjur? Yanjur. Yanjur. My lord. Where's Yanjur? Huh? Father, you asked for me. Where did you go? She was drunk, a light on my bed. I didn't know what to do. I was quite annoyed. I then went to the library to chat with the left chancellor. Little did I know, he's here with you. Father asked for me. What is it? I suspect. Lee Dion's planning something. These are the new cannons picked by Wright Chancellor. Tell them to keep a closer eye on Lee Dion and never give him a chance to come back. Yes. And keep looking for Prince Anne. Find him. Dead or alive. I won't. I don't want to go to Jim Woods. Way too far away. It's hard for His Majesty if Your Highness stays. He's trying everything to protect you. Please take that into consideration. You won't be there forever. We'll pick you up in a few years. I won't go. Hey! Rui! What are you doing? What? We have no time to explain to him. You're going to Jim Woods. It's a long journey. You must be careful. You too. 
Take good care of yourself. Don't worry. Aunt, stay safe and sound. And you too. I'm sorry for worrying you, Grandma. Every time you're out, you get hurt. Never mind. Zening was waiting for you all day long. Water under the bridge. It's past. But how can I let it go? If Li Duyun hadn't been demoted, you would have been married. It's impossible between me and Li Zening. And Grandma, please don't dwell on it. Then, how about Cheng Rui? Your Majesty, you're old enough to father. If you like Cheng Rui, she can be a consort. Bearing heirs for Da Xing is what's important. Yes. Do you want to be my royal relative? I dare not. Please forgive me. Huizhi. Yes. I indeed appreciate Ruyu. But feelings no more than those between emperor and ministers, swordsmen and prestigious swords. Definitely not romantic ones. So, Ru Yu cannot be my consort, let alone having children with me. Keep in mind. I'll keep it in mind. What do you want to report? I. I. Oh, your Majesty, Prince Han was found by Right Rock. I'm heading to Violet Bureau to send more people. Wait. You go along with Cheng Xi. Escort Prince An to Chengwu, then come back. Zhen Wu is too far, and it is my command. Yes. Not affection. Truly, what else do you expect? But why did he ask me to go to Jingwu? He's sending me away. But why? Your Majesty, I understand. Uh, I am 
grateful. You sent Eeyore away on purpose, Your Majesty. And you're instead. Qiu Ziliang is in power again. Next, he will turn to me. The Prince An is on his way out. There are many other princes. At this moment, I'm going to be in grave danger. If Ruo Yi is here, she'd get involved. Your Majesty, do you have plans? Yes, but the odds of winning are slim. 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 Man proposes, and heaven disposes. I don't believe the heavens will end the dashing. My lord. What's wrong? Have you found Prince Anne? Prince Anne snuck out to Chen Wu by Chen Shi. Chen Wu again? How about Liu Misha? I went to the prison to check. The persons in the cell has been switched. Apparently, Liu Misha is back to Chen Wu. Chong Shi takes Prince Anne there to seek for protection. Send troops to chase them, dead or alive. Bring Prince Anne and Liu Misha back. Yes. Jian, you think without Prince Anne, I can't do anything to you. Hmm. Bad news. Red Rook followed Chen Ruoyi and found Prince An. She also found out Prince Misha was set free by Qian, Lord is furious, and went to the palace with Fugu Soup. He wants to kill Qian. Wei Jie. Yes. Is Han Ding back? Not yet. I'm afraid it is too late. Did you see it? It's really that bowl. It's the one, Lord Chu. He served the late emperor last year. Empress Dowager. Empress Dowager. Summon Imperial Doctor. Yes. Empress Dowager. Empress Dowager. According to the marks, we head southwest, and we'll get there in about four hours. There, Prince Chen's men. Er, how could you be here now? We're heading out of the city. Out? His Majesty's in great danger, and you're leaving? In danger? What happened? I'm going to report to Prince Chun. Cho Zhe Liang is taking the fish soup to His Majesty's study. Fish soup? What's no soup? The late emperor drank the soup that Lord Chu served him, and passed away in an hour. You go ahead. I'm going back. Here, let's go. Yeah. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Your Majesty! Zhou Ziliang's here! Your Majesty! Zhou Ziliang is here! Please run! Your Majesty, please run! Your Majesty, it's different for you. The late Emperor didn't know Gong Fu and was kept in prison for years. He had no will to live. That's why he drank the soup Zhou Ziliang gave him. Your Majesty, if you leave, no one can stop you. Your Majesty! 
I can't leave. This is my palace. Yeah, I am the emperor. If I run, I'm nothing but a commoner. I won't run away. Open the door. I'm waiting for Chu Ziliao. Your Majesty. Yes. Happen to be thirsty. Please reward me with the soup. <laughs> How dare you to make noise here? It's time to discipline the sword holder. Bring the soup to me. Your Majesty. There's more. Bring it. Deserting your post and disobeying my command. Sword holder. You're dismissed. Don't drink, your majesty. Roger. Yes. Take your knees and leave. Yes. Your majesty, I won't leave. You've not recovered yet. Come. No one leaves here. Your majesty. <laughs> it's really touching. So touching. This looks familiar. It reminds me of Gong Songjin. I never expect you were so lucky, just like the late emperor. On your sides, some loyal sword holders. It makes me really jealous. Your Majesty? News, my lord. It's urgent. Read it. A coup in Lutong. Ting Tai used the chance, clued around and crowned himself. The ambassadors 
sign a petition urging His Majesty to send troops. Uh It seems that I don't need to drink it out. Don't think I dare not. Protect His Majesty! Greetings, Your Majesty. I brought forces to protect you. Please forgive us. Chen. Good job. Thank you, Godfather. Tomorrow's audience. We will discuss on the rebellion. And I'll need your help. Naturally. At this point, worrying won't help. Let's think about it. What to do next? Hold up. What's wrong? Since yesterday in the pavilion, I've gone wrong. Right Chancellor knows our every move inside and out. It's impossible that he didn't watch out for the Rairu, so Rairu couldn't have a chance to ruin his plans. Unless, from the beginning, Right Chancellor never wanted us to actually save Prince An. So you mean, Ryan Chancellor used you and Qian to set An free, then he asked the right guard to tell the Lord, and to provoke him to kill Qian. How many troops did Chiu Zidane send to trace Prince An? He was so furious, that he sent 3,000 army and 50 pawns. Almost two-thirds of the available troops. What comes to your mind? Diversion. Go and find out, if there's any deployment, and send a new cannon to see me. I need to ask something. Do we still go to the palace? No. You're right. We can't stop anything, and it's too late. Let's take a chance. I bet Right Chancellor isn't done yet. Why did you come back? Your Majesty, I didn't know you had plans. I just heard you were in danger, and I hurried back. I have deserted my post.
Aha. Here. <clears throat> the medicine. <clears throat> Watch out. <clears throat> well, go and find the map on my desk. Bring it to me. Yes. Yes. Father. You're here. Father is contemplating who should be sent to settle the rebellion in Luton. Yes. My so-called followers, their entourages, each one is a master of power play. However, when it comes to fighting a war, they just stare blankly, don't know what to do. I... I never expected I would fall for Qian's scheme. Yeah. War's nigh. Chaos ensues. If we crown a prince, then all hell break loose. Hmm... Uh, does... Does Liu Tongjian really hold the late emperor's edict? I've sent someone to investigate. But we're fish out of water. Very difficult. So far, nothing's found. That old bastard. Thinking he has a large army. So I dare not to touch him. And he helped Wang Yang three times. I should have sent the Peace Battalion to kill him. Then Jian could do nothing. So you're suggesting... Over the years... Feudatories have become kings, showing no respect to the court. A coup in Lutong, they all jump in the pot. Qian must have negotiated with them behind our backs. They want to cleanse the court. This is Lu Tong territory. When Mi Xiao is back, along with Zhong Wu's 80,000 elite soldiers, plus those who'd like to help, there'll be multiple forces. They can suppress Jiu Ziliang and his troops. Your Majesty has arranged all this. From Anxing Ninghua, I learned about the situation in Lu Tong, so I sent Han Ding to investigate. In Lu Tong, Aunt Ninghua still has some troops to lend me a hand with. Now, we've got support from the ambassadors in Zhengwu and Zhao Yi. Once Chen Yintai acquires a larger military, a war breaks out. Xiu Ziliang would have no one to fight the war with. And then, Li Yun can take the chance to return. Little did you know, Han Ye would get involved. Yes. Plans never last. However, we've finally gotten back on track. <sighs> but this war 
will force the people to leave their homes. I know. But the eunuchs have been an issue for years. Tumor with no cure. We have to cut it. There'll be blood. But it's better than letting it grow. Beyond control. Troops rush to the war. Running back the streets. Taking off their swords. All embrace the wonderful peace. How do you know this poem? I... I just had a feeling and recited it. Something wrong? Do you know who wrote it? No. Who wrote it? Wang Yang wrote it. Wang Yang? Mm, I might have seen it. On the calendar before and recited it. I. Your Majesty, can you can you tell me about it? About what? Han Ye, Ah Wu, and Wang Yang's two granddaughters. What else have you done back then? You never say anything about it. You let the people blame on you, ignore misunderstandings. Allow the eunuchs laugh. They have nightmares all the time. Every one of us can die. Die for you. You win, so does Dashing. You lose, it costs Dashing. Brother, you must win. There's no misunderstanding. They're telling the truth. To become emperor, I've killed many. Became Chu Zhiliao's godson and removed all his enemies. So now in the court, there are no loyalists and no talents. Your Majesty's not like that. So. What kind of person am I? My Majesty, worried about his brother's safety, so he snuck in the Peace Battalion at night. He knew Prince Chen very well; is a threat to his throne. But he chose to trust him. He's aware of the danger, so he sent me away to protect me. He truly cares about Da Xiong and his people. An emperor like this, how can he also be ruthless? Be a variously maleficent. Your Majesty. Stay back. Your Majesty, you will win, and we, all of us, will help you. It's late. Go and have some rest. Yes. Even when I choose to be evil, how can I not like a woman as such? This is the woman I like. This is Chang Ruiyi.
feel that today I have finally understood His Majesty. Qingguang, you must feel the same way, right? Affection. Of course not affection. Didn't His Majesty say? It's appreciation. What's wrong? Li Zening stays quiet, and we lost Chen Ruoyi. Chen Ruoyi is riding Rufeng. The horseshoes are unique. Can't you trace the track? I did, but I just found Rufeng. She's not there. What's Rufeng? Qian can lose his horse. Yes. What time is it? It's past noon. It's been a while. Li Zening still did nothing. Nothing. Send people there. Force them out of carriage. Yes. Baikon, Baikon, it really is deserted, dilapidated. There's nothing inside. Talk. Where's Li Zaning? We don't know either. Miss said the monks work hard. It's inconvenient to go up and down. So she asked us to donate this carriage to them. Li Zuni asked you to donate a carriage. The deserted temple. We're just servants. We do whatever Miss orders. Miss also said we should wait outside. When the monks finish their chants, they will come out and take it. Chen Ruoyu? Why are you here? Who sent you? His Majesty. His Majesty asked you to bring Li Deyun back, right? I don't know what you're saying. I come here for Empress Dowager to pray for her. There's many temples. Why choose the deserted one and pray? Deserted? It's really deserted! So strange! Diversion. We're tricked. Let's go! What are you doing here? Ah, uh, is that the soup His Majesty wants? Took you long enough. Hurry, hurry. Your Majesty, you finally made it. Lord Lee. Oh. Mm -hmm. 